to the video. Before we get started, here around there's a red timeline that is divided into chapters, which makes it easier for you to watch the video. You can also find those in the description box alongside any other information and link that I find relevant to share. Let's take a walk, have a chat, and then go back home and draw, because I am working on a mini series of drawings that I am calling Flowers in Space. So today I'm going to share with you almost completing that, <laughs> but like I said, first we have to take a walk. It is gorgeous today. today which is incredible for this area and also it's not raining right now the fields are now covered with what I think is no there's not much of them here but most of the fields here now are covered with uh, Queen Anne's lace or something we just call them uh, hunjaks, hunjaks, uh, which translates into dog biscuits which is ironic since they're poisonous I am out on my daily walks. I do daily walks now, no matter the weather. Weather. So some days I wear my winter one piece because it's both wind and rainproof. And since it's been that and cold, that has been a dear friend. And also I'm not wearing my socks outside my pants because I think it's <laughs> cool. <laughs> this area is packed with ticks and ticks love me. And the grass is getting higher now in the sides of the roads and last year I walked on roads like this only and I got six bites. So this is what I do every day now. I walk down here, turn and go back and then I do that again and again and again and again and again and again, and again, and again <laughs> until I have reached my 10,000 steps. Some days I feel very poorly and I only, only manage 5,000 steps but it's fine because Everything you do for your health matters. So, there's that. I haven't been drawing a lot yesterday and today. I woke up today feeling so poor that I couldn't go into the center to do my errands. So I won't be able to go back in there until Monday. I live uh, in a very rural area, if that's not very apparent. <laughs> and uh, I, don't, I don't have access to shops here. Uh, or public transportations, and I do not have a car. I never bothered taking the driver's license. Um, and we used to have uh, three days a week uh, taxi service, which meant that the day before you could call in and say that I need a trip with the blah blah blah, then and then, and they would, you know, uh, drive around and pick up everyone who had ordered a trip for that day. And it is set up by the municipality instead of a bus because like I just said we don't have public transportation and uh, it used to be Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays and so this is like set uh, times on those days where the taxi actually drives around and picks you up at your door drop you off in the Rødvik center where you want to go so a lot better than the bus for the price of a bus ticket I'm the youngest one on that route, <laughs> oh. which leads to many very funny conversations and uh, stories from way back when, which I absolutely love, so it suits me perfectly. Uh, however, they have removed Fridays, <laughs> so 33% of, of that tilbud, God, words escape me today, uh, is now gone, and we are feeling it. And uh, 
when this was made apparent to some of us because they didn't you know notify it anywhere or somewhere all of all of a sudden we just got the notification that no sorry friday routes are out out and uh we just sat there like yeah so that's inconvenient on a thursday when i need to do my weekend shopping why why is this happening and um and i was the one who had to break those news to the oldest one in the route he uh he's closing in on 90 years old he's fragile and he's alone and i know that his highlights of the weeks were to go in on Fridays and chat to all of us ladies in the taxi and uh, sit in the Rødvik to have a cup of coffee with his friends and do his weekend shopping and go back home. And I had to break this to him. And oh my god. <laughs> Ugh, I can't talk about it without getting choked up. <clears throat> the look on his face when he realized that that was gone. Ugh, it is sad that this is a part of centralization in Norway because it's not only happening here. Those were a few updates. I'm gonna keep on walking and go back home to draw. That's where I have parked my tripod and now will hang the one that I'm using. And uh, I will just keep on walk, 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 walking. And I guess I will see you back home. Thank you for joining me. I don't think you can see it, but it's coming down a little bit of rain. Not enough to make you soaked, but enough to make you aware that it's there. Especially if you're wearing glasses. <laughs> but I will not quit my walk. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, it just feels too darn good. <laughs> it is 10 degrees Celsius outside. I'm wearing my Christmas pajamas. I'm that inspired. 
It is so cold this year. My pansies aren't growing. <laughs> I planted them inside for pre-cultivation in April and they still look like tiny little bushes. It's, it's sad. I'm promising you it's sad. There's a lot of cinematic footage out there about what a, a slow and simple life looks like. It's like chopping wood in slow motion and just birds and bees in slow motion and, you know, sun flares and all the things. And <laughs> I don't really fit into that category at all. Um, so I have tried the whole um, videographer style kind of approach to YouTube videos. And it's not that I don't enjoy watching them. I love watching them. It's like a fairy tale. For me, 100% honest right now, it's a crappy summer. I'm wearing Christmas pajamas and layering up inside because it is cold and I'm drawing. That's my week this week. And yes, it is packed with absolutely amazing moments. And as much as I would like to only capture the moments and share with you, that's not gonna be the full story. So I have decided now that I'm gonna go back to the basics uh, that I started with on a different channel, 2016. When I started vlogging on that channel, I vlogged. I took the good and the bad and uh, I chatted and I showed the good things and I showed the bad things. And I really wanna go back to that because that was how I was happiest vlogging. And I wouldn't have known that if I had tried all the different styles. So I'm kind of happy that I've been through that roller coaster. And in case you don't know what a roller coaster is, it looks like this. Is it the Loch Ness Monster? I don't know. Why am I still doing this? Like I said, nothing impressive is going to happen. So just sit back and enjoy the normal mundane life here from the coast of Norway. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your day and for being a part of mine. I truly appreciate it. I hope to chat with you in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, share my video with a friend or two. Until I see you in my next video, have a magical time, you guys. And I will see you soon. Bye.